Hi guys, in the last video I went over the application process with Susia and provided three tips on how to improve your chances of getting a positive reply. Now if you haven't already seen my last video, I recommend you watch that video first. In this video, the assumption is that you've already applied to Susia. If you've been successful, you'll then receive an email from a company called Aero Synergy. Now for those of you who don't know who Aero Synergy is, they're a company which is based in Singapore. In recent years, they've been contracted by Susia and a number of other airlines to assist with the assessments for new pilots. Now when Aero Synergy email you, they'll demand that you pay them a fee of 150 US dollars. They're actually quite assertive in regards to you paying this fee. In fact, they'll give you just five days to do so, else they'll reject your application. In exchange for this fee of 150 US dollars, they'll give you a short Skype interview, which lasts approximately 10 minutes, which is for the purpose of assessing your English. How well they speak English themselves, of course, is anyone's guess. They'll also give you access to a series of online exams known as the CUTE exams. And that's it. I'll let you come to your own conclusions as to why they're charging 150 US dollars for this. So the first question, of course, that you're going to need to ask yourself is whether or not you're prepared to pay them this money. However, unfortunately, for the time being at least, if you don't pay them, you won't get a job with Susie here. It's frustrating, I know, but unfortunately, that's the procedure that Susie currently has in place. I believe that this procedure may change in the future, and I'll explain why a bit later in this video. However, just for now, I'm going to explain the online assessments with Qt. So Qt is a collection of online assessments which has been created by a company called Aon. Aon will contract out individual online assessments to other companies which deal with recruitment such as Aero Synergy in exchange for a small fee. Although that fee is nowhere near 150 US dollars per person. The Qt assessments are used by many airlines across the world. We didn't have this particular exam during my time at Suzie. However, I have taken this exam myself when applying to other airlines. Specific to Aero Synergy, the online assessments comprise of the following six subjects. Reaction speed, monitoring ability, complex control, spatial orientation, multitasking, and applied numeracy. So let's take a look at these subjects in a bit more detail. So the reaction speed assessment is a bit like playing the card game Snap. Whenever two identical shapes appear, you click the button. The faster you click the button, the higher your score. The monitoring ability assessment is an interesting one. You need to count the number of balls which appear on the screen as they're moving. Now this is a fairly easy task at the beginning, however towards the end as the balls increase and move faster, you just need to estimate. You can't possibly count them all in the limited time that you have. Complex control is basically a flight simulator. You need to navigate around the moving obstacles in order to avoid crashing. You can also control your speed with the keyboard. However, just to give you a heads up, you need a mouse for this. I tried this assessment once using the touchpad on my laptop. However, every time you adjust the speed, the touchpad will subsequently freeze and you'll then crash. So I recommend you just buy yourself a cheap mouse from a local electronic shop. So the spatial orientation should be a fairly easy task for most pilots. You simply need to decide the position and direction of your aircraft from the NDB based on the information from your instruments.
there are three simultaneous tasks which you need to complete for multitasking. Task 1 requires you select the correct area code for the phone call. Task 2 requires you check if the equation is correct or not. And task 3 requires you check if any letters appear more than twice. The trick is not to let any one task distract you from completing the other tasks. Applied numeracy is a fairly straightforward assessment. You basically need to calculate areas and volumes based on the information provided. However, it is important that you learn the various unit definitions first, such as how much a decimeter is, for example. Now, if you'd like to practice any of these assessments first, you can actually do so for free on the Aon website. I'll put the link in the description. Following the completion of these assessments, you should find out in approximately two weeks or so whether or not your assessment has been successful. Now, as I mentioned before, I believe that this process with Aero Synergy will change in the future. Although it certainly makes sense to have some kind of an online assessment process prior to traveling all the way to Indonesia, I really don't think that the current procedure with Aero Synergy is sustainable. This is just my personal opinion. Now I'm basing this on two fundamental reasons. Firstly, the demand for pilots is going to fluctuate all of the time. If Susie ever finds itself in a position whereby they need to recruit a lot of pilots quickly, which happens a lot due to the ad hoc nature of their contracts, then they might find that the 150 US dollar fee will be a massive barrier to that recruitment drive. Especially if the other airlines around the world are recruiting, and if enough pilots simply refuse to pay this 150 US dollar fee, then of course Suzier will have no other alternative other than to find another company with a more reasonable cost. Or better still, just conduct the online assessments themselves and just waive the fee altogether. Secondly, and this is an important one which some people forget, pilots really are getting fed up of having their dreams become exploited for money. Now, Aerosynergy was first contracted by Suzier back in 2018, which means that many of the pilots who were the first to pay this fee will now be captains themselves. Eventually, those captains will also be promoted to managers. So as these pilots are promoted within the company, they'll gradually have more and more influence over how the new pilots are recruited. Naturally, many of these senior pilots may not be the biggest fans of Aerosynergy as a company, Ultimately, the chief pilot or training manager will have their power to amend the recruitment process. For these reasons, I can't see the 150 US dollar fee staying for too much longer. Again, this is just my personal opinion. I hope you found this video helpful. As always, if you would like to learn more about what it's like flying for Susia, please consider buying my book, Papa Kilo, A True Story from a Susia Pilot in Indonesia. I'll be uploading the third and final video shortly. This video will take you through the final step of the recruitment process, which are the assessments in Pangandaran, Indonesia. Until next time, thanks for watching.